This week, the Trump administration shifted its focus from combating the coronavirus health care crisis to restarting the nation's economy. Likewise, this week, the first Pennsylvania counties to reopen were announced. The openings took place today and included 24 counties, mostly in north central and northwestern Pennsylvania. In the yellow phase, the first phase of reopening, there are still significant restrictions, but most businesses, with the notable exception of restaurants, can open at some capacity. Schools will remain closed. Nationally, another 3.2 million Americans filed for first-time unemployment benefits, bringing the total as of the first of this week to 33.5 million people. This is 21% of the March labor force. Also on a national level, there's a hubbub of activity taking place on Capitol Hill about ways to get more aid to businesses, Americans out of work, and state and municipalities. Of course, when something actually happens, you'll hear about it in the PRLA Daily Update. The PLCB, the Pennsylvania Liquor Control Board, finally released some guidance as to how licensees could obtain product as businesses reopen. With reopenings on everyone's mind, the Pennsylvania Chamber launched a new website, Bringing PA Back, to help business owners safely reopen their businesses. PRLA's Restaurant Promise is included. PRLA convened a roundtable of suppliers, distributors, and broadliners and developed a white paper to help hospitality operators with supply chain expectations during reopening. The Senate Law and Justice Committee held a hearing to discuss the COVID-19 crisis and how the Pennsylvania Liquor Control Board, PLCB, has handled it. Yours truly and some PRLA members were asked to testify. The replay of this hearing is available on PRLA's COVID-19 page. Good friend of our industry, State Senator Tom Killian, representing Chester and Delaware counties, held his second Teletown Hall event, and I was honored to be one of his guests. I understand that more than 3,700 people called into the meeting. PRLA resumed chapter board meetings this week, albeit virtually, with Philadelphia, Brandywine, Lehigh Valley, and Lancaster all holding meetings. While we were not in the same room, it was clear everyone enjoyed seeing each other on screen and sharing best practices during this incredibly difficult time. This week, PRLA also participated in a call with Department of Community Economic Development Secretary Dennis Davin to talk about the food supply chain coming out of this pandemic. On a call this week with about 40 state restaurant association CEOs from across the country, states that have already opened restaurants shared anecdotes about safety practices, business levels, and supply chain challenges, particularly in sourcing proteins. Although this week U.S. Agriculture Secretary Sonny Perdue said he expects U.S. meatpacking plants to fully resume operations within a week to 10 days, during a meeting with President Donald Trump and Iowa Governor Kim Reynolds, some states reported issues in getting proteins. Yesterday, Ohio Governor Mike DeWine announced that restaurants will open for outdoor dining on May 15th and for indoor dining on May 22nd. West Virginia also began outdoor dining this week, and New Hampshire, Connecticut, and Rhode Island are expected to follow suit over the next two weeks. As of today, half of the states across the country have announced plans to reopen their restaurants. We hope that Pennsylvania Governor Wolf will add our state to this list and will add outdoor dining in the yellow phase. As we sign off, remember to order takeout from your local restaurant and above all, stay safe. Thanks for tuning in to It Happened This Week. I'll see you again next week.